Hello everybody, it's RJ back with another video. It's Saturday and it's the trivia recap edition. Uh, once again, I'm in the car traveling. Uh, last week, if you recall, my trivia recap edition was in the car because I was taking my mother-in-law down to the airport to drop her off. Today, uh, I'm in the van with the fam and we're going down to the airport to pick up grandma. So, in the meantime, I wanted to get my Saturday trivia recap out to y'all. So here we go. Uh, Monday's question was, um, who was the starting pitcher for the Phillies in the 1950 World Series? Now, the answer is Jim Constanti. Uh, Porter Johnson got the right answer, but Porter Johnson had won uh, within the three day or within the one week of time frame, so I couldn't give him the prize. The next person, to, the only other person to pipe in was Jeff up at Shaw Racing Collects, but Jeff got the wrong answer. He guessed Bob Miller. So nobody got the prize for Monday's trivia question. It was actually just two, um, two uh, playing cards. One of uh, Robin Roberts, the uh, Hall of Fame pitcher from that team, from the 1950 Wiz kids. And the other was uh, Richie Ashburn, Hall of Fame center fielder for that team. Uh, two playing cards from the uh, Heroes deck. Nobody got the prize, so I might, I'll just keep the cards and maybe give it out another time. But So Monday, no winner. Wednesday, Wednesday I asked, in what year did Major League Baseball release the very first World Series highlight film? The answer was 1943. And being as it's Wednesday, Porter Johnson got it got it right. Porter Porter is always my uh, Wednesday guru now. I'm just kind of going to expect every Wednesday's winner to be Porter Johnson. Anyway, uh, the prize for that day was one of five of the bobblehead dolls I showed you guys uh, in that video. I got a whole bunch of bobbles from a fellow collector not too long ago. And Porter selected the uh, Roger Clemens Yankees doll. So I'll be sending that one out to Porter shortly. And then finally on Friday, the question was, in what year did Major League Baseball start allow or start requiring actually, or allowing even Major League trading card companies, in this case, mostly Tops, but Panini, even Upper Deck at the time was still doing baseball cards. Uh, in what year did they start putting the RC logo on the rookie cards? And the answer is 2006. That was the first year you'd get cards with the RC logo or rookie card designation on it. And Lisa Z got that answer right. Got a lot of people got that answer right. So that uh, shows you that everybody knows all about their card collecting. Anyway, Lisa Z got that one right. And she got herself a nice uh, 2021. Ahead. Oh, that's my ways act. Use the left two oh. lanes to keep left oh, no. at I-95 North for Philadelphia. <laughs> you can see we're getting close to the airport. Anyway, Lisa Z got the answer right, and she got a 2021 uh, Panini Prism Joe Adele rookie card, which will be going out soon. So there you have it, everybody. That is today's Saturday Trivia Recap. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting on the channel, and all that jazz. Thanks for taking time with me. Uh, appreciate if you all come back on Left Monday for more quiet, perfect quiet. <laughs> and we'll see you next time, okay? Take care.